Hi, I think we'll do this as the last video on the series for solving equations. So this is very similar to the last question we're going to do. Um, we have to rewrite, we can't solve this cos 2x, we have to rewrite it with the formula we're given. We'll turn it into a trinomial, we're going to factorise it, and then we'll solve the way we did for the first few examples, where we've got something like you know, cos of x equals a half or whatever. Okay, so it's the same as last time with the, with the, different, um, with the same structure as last time. So cos 2x, let's say that the cos 2x, so in my formula sheet, I'll take that as 2 cos squared x, so 2 cos squared x, take away 1. Okay, so I've just rewritten this with the formula I've got, and I write it with this one because I want to have just cosses. I want just cosses or just sides, I want one unknown. Then I'll get everything over to the one side, so 2 cos squared x, take away 1, and then I'll take away my 5 cos x and take away 3. So that's now equal to 0. So I've moved everything over, and then I'll just group my like terms. Equals 0. But sorry, that's an add 3, isn't it? Sorry, add 3. So that's going to give me a 2 in there. Plus, plus 2. And then same as before, I will call that 2x squared, take away 5x, plus 2 is 0. So I'm calling x, big X, is the same as cos x. And this is just the same as our standard trinomials we've been doing uh, for a long time now. So add to give me this number and multiply to give me this times this. In the last video, I talked a little bit about how we could do um, the, the trial and error method if you want to do that. I'll call this then 2x squared, take away 4x, take away x, plus 2 is 0. So yep, those two numbers add to give me this. I'm just splitting this up, and they multiply still to give me that factor of 4. Then you're taking your common factor, rewrite your bracket. What do I have to have in front of here? A negative 1. Put these two numbers together, so 2x negative 1, they come together, so take that 1. And that one, they just come together, and then I'll rewrite my bracket x negative 2. So just pull that down, the x negative 2. So all that has to be equal to 0. So that was like our first, that's the second bit. So the first bit was rewriting it, and then the second bit was factorizing. And the third bit, we're now saying, okay, well, what that means is, is that 2, oops, 2 cos of x take away 1 has to equal 0. And this is saying that cos of x take away 2 has to equal zero and then we're just going to rearrange it rewrite that first quite messy. so cos of x equal to two well that's not that's not a solution is it because this is my cost graph and it goes up to one and down to negative one so that can't be a solution so we're going to score that one out right away and we'll concentrate on this one and this is us back to our first type of solves wasn't it um you know just cost on its own rearranging so First thing we do, rearrange, that's going to give me a half. And then we're going to do our exact triangles. <laughs> so bad at drawing these. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it, but here we go. Root 3, 1 and 2, and that's 30 and 60. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So 1 is the adjacent, that's the hypotenuse. So it has to be 60 degrees. So I'm going to say, I'm going to change pen that. that x is equal to cos negative 1 of a half, which is then equal to 60 degrees. And finally, we say, okay, well, I wanted the positive answer. Cos of x is a half. So when is cos positive? Cos is positive in two quadrants. It's positive here, where everything's positive, and here. So in quadrant 1, x is just equal to x. x is 60. x is that first one. Yeah, so we use this answer. Sometimes if that's a negative, if we want to know what cos is negative a half, I would work out the cos is a half. And then look at that, you use that as a stepping stone. And the other quadrant in here is 360 take away x. So that's 360, oops, take away x, which is 60. So that's going to give me 300 degrees. So x is 300 and x is 360. Excellent question. That one's in degrees as well. If we had to change that to radians, we'd discuss that as well. But yeah, those are your, your different stepping points. You've got the first stage where you have to sub in your equation. So you have to look at your um, up here, your identities. So we rewrite with our identities that we're given. So don't stress about learning these. 
And so we put that in. And then we put it all equal to zero. Sorry, this is very unsmooth. I'm not very, I'm not really a professional at this, but there we go. Yeah, put it all equal to zero, call cos x, and then factorize it. After we've factorized it, we are looking at doing our solving, which is where we started off this kind of video series on just very simple functions like this. Okay, so it's three things. Actually, this is, you know, we've got a separate video on some of this. We've been doing this for ages and this is how we started. So these are the big questions, you know, five, six marks sometimes. Excellent questions to know. Um, you just got to take your time and not make any kind of silly algebraic mistakes or anything. But there's a nice kind of flow to it, I think, with the, with the parts. And at the very last bit, I wanted to go with this question. I like this question. Solve this equation, and this time look, it's sine 2x, it's not a cos 2x. So we have to call that one 2 sine x cos x. Okay, plus 6 cos x is equal to 0. Ooh, how do we solve that? That's, that's crazy. So last time we were, we were turning it into a trinomial. But this time, it's actually kind of easier. We say, okay, well, why don't we take out uh, cos x as, um, as a common factor? So if I rewrite that, I'll take cos x out, pen gone, take cos x out, in fact looking at it, oh I can take 2 out as well, there we go, so that's going to give me sine x plus 3 equals 0, let's double check that, let's times these together, that gives me that, yep, and that's that, yep, that's good. So when does that equal 0, okay, well 2 cos x, right, um, 2 cos x equals 0, so divide both sides by 2, so cos x is still equal to 0, so when is cos x equal to 0? It's equal to 0, uh, there's no 0 value there, it's equal to 0 at 90 and 270. So x is equal to 90 degrees and 270. Remember that the, this value here changes the height, so the height there of this graph actually would be 2 and negative 2, but it's still cutting at the, at the same points along the axis, we've not changed the, the period, you know. But yeah, um, you can also say, like I said, divide both sides by 2, it's still the same thing. So anyway, those are your two values, when is my cost 0, well there's 0, go along the way, it's at 90 and 270. And then this one, we're saying, okay, when is sine x negative, so when is sine sine x plus 3 equal to 0, well sine x then is equal to negative 3, so let's have a think about that, let's look at our graph for sine x, so sine x equal to 1, negative 1, negative 3 is way down here somewhere, it doesn't exist does it, so that is not a solution, you can't solve that, that doesn't make any sense, so you can just disregard that one. And the last bit of the question says head solve this, so what's changed from the first bit to the second bit? Well, the periods have changed, haven't they? What have we done to our periods? We've doubled them. So if I was to say that this first one, yep, that was our first one with 90 and 270. So that's just cos x, right? With your 90 and 270. If we double the period, what we're seeing is there's now two waves inside that 360. <laughs> Sorry, this is a bad drawing. Uh, <laughs> We're now saying there's two waves inside of the 360 limit, okay, inside that 360. So how am I possibly going to work out these values? Well, we just half what we've got. Okay, so if I half these values, I'm going to get 45 and 135, yeah? And then to work out these values, we just add the period on, and the period of this one is 180, yeah? So if I then add on 180 to them, so I'll say 180 plus 45, and I'll say 180 plus 135, that's going to give me a final two answer. So what's that? 12, 2, and 185, 11, and 3. There we go. So 45, 135, 225, and 315. Let's double check that. There we go. So I quite like that question. Slightly different. You didn't have to do the trinomial. It was a slightly easier factorizer, which I wanted to show you. I like when you have to disregard these answers, it gives you less work to do, but it shows you understand what's going on. It's okay to say, you know, this is not a valid solution. You just put me no and say that. And also just a little quick chat about the periods as well. So to work out those new periods, we're dividing by two, but then we have to add on another 180 as well.
hope that was helpful and thanks for